Hey y'all, happy Monday. Welcome back to my channel. I am on real quick, um, on Mondays, if you're new here and don't know kind of how my channel works, on Mondays I usually take a break from crafting and YouTube and, um, my mood and my want to craft is just a little not there. Um, I'm going to push through it though. That's not a problem. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys a couple of updates. Um, many of you know that, uh, I take care of my mom as best I can. She does live independently and my stepdad is there, but when it comes to medical things, I really, um, try to be as present as I possibly can. And with a lot of her visits recently, you know, we're not allowed to accompany her. So she has been having to do a couple things by herself. Um, and one of those things recently was that she had to have a lung cancer screening. Um, here in our area, her physician group does lung cancer screenings for at-risk patients at a certain age, similarly to how you would have a mammogram every year. Um, at a certain point with certain diagnoses and certain uh, environmental, um, I don't know how to say it, um, she is a smoker. So at a certain point it does become more high risk obviously for cancer so they do a preemptive screening for that and unfortunately we got her test results back today. and. Um, she does have two question, questionable masses in her right lung. She has one in her left lung, and they are quite large. Um, two are over 11 millimeters wide, and one is over 9 millimeters wide. Um, and just reading the CT scan results, you know, it. Um, they weren't great results, I'll just say that, um, enough to necessitate that she uh, has a stat appointment at an actual lung cancer center on Thursday. So, um, any well wishes, any good vibes, uh, send them our way. You guys know cancer is a touchy subject here with me, and my father passed away in 2014. He had lung cancer and liver cancer, although his lung cancer was in remission 30 days um, prior to hospice taking over and him passing away. Um, so we've been through that route before and I guess one of the hardest things is, you know, if something like this does come back and it's positive um, because she has lived through it and she knows what um, treatment entails and what it does to a person. Um, she probably would not accept treatment. I can't say that for certain. I don't know. And it is still very early, but um, it definitely causes me to pause. <laughs> and um, I did share a little bit with Pat earlier on the phone, but... Unfortunately, our phone service um, is down, so, uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on, apparently. T-Mobile is just down across the country, so if anybody has texted me, any of the Golden Girls, if you guys have texted me, I'm not ignoring you. Um, I literally don't have phone service, so I th sent three texts out to the Golden Girls before I ever realized, you know, we don't have service at all. So... With that said, I was asked by Miss Pat to come on today and do an update video um, regarding the newbie swap. Um, we have, both of us have kind of been fielding emails, um, and I am sorry to anybody if I don't email you back immediately. Um, Pat usually handles those. Uh, we've been juggling it. And so far, I think everyone is um, happy and okay. But I do need to stress again 
that um, if there's anybody out there who feels that they cannot complete this swap, we do need to know now. Um, we have a few people who um, are um, not not communicating, but <clears throat> I don't want to say it like that because I don't want to be like a cracking the whip kind of person, but just know that um, communication is key. If your adopter, right, and I guess this could go either way, if you're ready to go ahead and send your swap, mind you, you don't have to send it until August at the latest. Several of our ladies have decided to do small swaps until then, and, um, you know, every, we gave everyone the freedom to kind of decide within um, their grouping what they would do. But just remember, keep um, your other partner aware of where you stand and what your time frame is as far as sending out. Because in, in all fairness, um, we would like for the newbies to mail first just so they get that experience and just so they know how things work and what to expect. But of course, if you're not going to be ready, and I completely understand, if you're not going to be ready until closer to that deadline in August, by all means, just let your swap partner know. Um, I know life gets in the way, as you can tell by um, the medical update with my mom. I could be at a point where, you know, I need to be with her more often. I don't know, but obviously that happens. And um, so we understand that. Just make sure you communicate. Um, and going further, uh, going forward, if anybody has any emergent issues with the swap, with your partner, with any concerns whatsoever, please reach out to Pat Sweeney at uh, toughladywarrior at yahoo.com. And she is able to get to you faster than I can, um, especially during work hours. Um, so I think we covered all of that. I wanted to say thank you to everyone who is already sending out amazing swaps and beautiful projects. The, these newbies, they're doing wonderful, you guys. And I just want to tell my adoptee team how appreciative I am of you and how wonderful it is to see everyone coming together and helping uh, the newbies along the way with any of their questions, any of their suggestions, any of their uplifting. And um, that was super important to me. Um, you know, if, if, if somebody's struggling and not knowing their worth, then um, I think I have a phenomenal team of adopters who are just in the perfect position to lift others up. And um, without you guys, this would not be possible. Without your willingness to take time out of your regular crafty schedule and fit a newbie in um, was an incredible, incredible ask. And I just want everybody to know that I do appreciate you. Um, as I see... Um, videos coming through. I'm trying to watch as many as possible. Uh, I'm trying to keep up. Uh, Marianne, who is, um, and forgive me, I don't even want to try to pronounce her last name because I know I will butcher it, but Marianne and I became friends from a Facebook group, and she had not swapped very often in that group and actually left the group, uh, but we stayed connected here on YouTube, and, um, she was paired with the Happy Mail Stamper, and I'm not sure if her video is live yet, but you guys, her project, number one, I can't sew. I don't own a sewing machine, so her summer tote bag that she created looks like something you would buy at the store. No joke. Um, it's incredible. So the newbies are, are amazing to me. Uh, the newbies are amazing me. And, um, yeah, I just couldn't be more happy with everybody who is involved, both the newbies and the adopters who agreed to take these guys on. Some of them are certainly not going to be newbies after the swap. So that was my, um, intention 
I hope everybody is happy. I hope everybody enjoys seeing all of the creations going on um, in YouTube land right now. And um, this week and weekend, I will hopefully be wrapping up my swap with Alicia. I'll be beginning and kind of going in the middle of my swap with my newbie, um, Cynthia Aguilar, and I also need to finish up my die cut swap, um, which I got everything glued down. Now I just need to do a few more die cuts. So yeah, um, I have a photo shoot on Saturday. Um, the first time I have done a photo shoot in a very long time, but um, the young lady I'm photographing, um, I have been photographing her and her family since she was seven years old. And she is graduating high school finally. Um, I think it's a virtual graduation, but she was not able to have um, uh, her cap and gown pictures because of the pandemic. So we are going to do the formal cap and gown photos for her. And um, I'm happy to get behind the camera for a minute um, and take a break and get some photos of my sweet friend's daughter. And um, she is looking to become a nurse. So as she begins her journey, uh, it was my pleasure to um, photograph this haphazard pandemic graduation 2020 debacle that became of our year so <laughs> um all right you guys with that said i don't want to blabber too long but um i did want to say thank you again to all of my newbies all of my adoptees you guys are wonderful and i'm so blessed to have been able to um, work with miss pat on this and make sure you guys had a wonderful swap and hopefully you all will gain at least one new friend out of this, but I hope many, many more. And as we continue to um, add more people to this channel, hopefully the next round will be even bigger. And as time goes on, maybe this will be an ongoing thing. I don't know. So you guys, if you have any questions, as always, leave them down below. Send us some good vibes. Um, and yeah. I hope to see you guys very, very soon with another crafty video. Much love.